Hey guys, an Everyday Canadian and today we're etching some gold. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a chemical process with muriatic acid. Now, etching is basically where you take uh, nickel and copper away from the gold plating and leaves nothing but the gold flakes and the plastic. Uh, we'll get to that. It's a long, slow process, but we will. So I picked up some muriatic acid. If you guys haven't seen my first video of just showing you guys some gold and all that and how to find gold in all scrap electronics, go check that out. That'll be in the annotations. Um, so I have some gold here. It's all gold plating and all that. It's from cell phones, all scrap electronics and all that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and I know some of you guys wanted to see this. Um, there's gonna be a few videos actually. It's like step one, step two and all that. So I hope that's okay. Um, you guys are gonna need some gloves because muriatic acid is corrosive. It, if you get it on your hands, it won't like burn like acid, but it will peel away the skin and all that. And it's very toxic. Like you don't wanna breathe it in, like it's poison. And I got some hydrogen peroxide. That's actually gonna speed up the process for the chemical reaction to happen. So, and also it's gonna produce a, a very toxic ammonia like gas and you don't want that. You're probably wondering also, I'm doing it in my living room. Um, it takes a little bit for the chemicals to actually start creating and producing gases. I will put this in a well ventilated area. So um, I do have a respirator on just because I'm going to be close to it. And I've got some uh, safety glasses just if I splash or anything. And I got a rubber glove just to be sure that I don't get any on my hands. So uh, we're going to start. So uh, we got some muriatic acid here. It's um, 31.45 percent it's good stuff and it's perfect because it's got etching on it so that's for like stripping so uh, we want to get that open as you guys can see there's some residue over here that's how toxic it is the bag's even starting to get corrosion on it and starting to melt a little bit this is very toxic guys very toxic this is our muriatic acid it's for pools and some other stuff for cleaning and all that it's really good stuff so I'm going to get my glove on because I don't want this stuff on my hands. I don't want to be getting sick or anything 10 years down the road. So uh, open that up. And uh, first thing you want to do too, get that open. Actually, just set your lid right there. I just want that on there. So we got our gold. That will be uh, in the annotations part one. So check that out, guys. It's a cool way to get gold cheap and free. And this is just... A small batch like it honestly is there's some gold plating right there this is gonna be a small batch these are from cell phones I think it is if you guys know the answer to this put in the comment section it's a uh, 5,000 cell phones is about two hundred fifty thousand dollars in gold um, I'm pretty sure it is I'm almost certain that 5,000 cell phones that's why it takes a lot of gold like this isn't gonna make a lot so, um, but I'm just doing it to show you guys in the future if you guys want to try it yourselves and you guys have all the materials and stuff to do it or you can get this stuff like practically anywhere or any hardware store, maybe even a friend that has it, you know, can hook you up. So you take all your gold little pieces and all that, your gold plating. So, so if you guys have like SIM cards and all that too, it's got gold plating on it. Um, like there's a SIM card, it's got gold plating on it. Now I have a, a fair amount of gold here like I do, you want to get in a glass bowl, even like stuff that doesn't have a lot of gold, just throw it in there anyway, so this is just an experiment, so we want to fill this bowl up, some big pieces, but it's got like little pieces of gold in it and all that, so, uh, you know, some more gold, these are just circuits. You guys can find them in computers, electronics, cell phones, all that stuff. So if you guys ever recycle your cell phone, don't. Just put it aside. Look at it as an investment. So up here. So um, we're going to get this. Sean's my cameraman tonight. So uh, yeah. So uh, we'll dump the rest of this stuff in here. Just don't want to put any plastic or anything in there because... You guys are going to be screen, uh, screening it anyways. It's going to go through a filter process and all that. So there's some copper in there. So etching is, is a circuit basically that's got gold, nickel, copper, and some other uh, metals in it. Um, basically what happens is a chemical uh, goes underneath. 
and uh, floats all the gold uh, plating off of it and you're going to get left with the gold shards. Now some of you are probably going to be asking me that it's not pure gold or whatever, there's other metals in it. Um, the more you melt it, you're going to lose some in the future, but you know, it's a sacrifice you make when you're doing this. Um, you're going to lose some, but it'll be worth it in the end because you know, you're going to make whatever you want during the melting process. So we got some gold. I want to make sure I get it all in there. Don't worry if there's plastic already in there. You guys are going to be screening it anyways. So you want to start by getting your uh, hydrogen peroxide. There is no real ratio, but you want to add your hydrogen peroxide first. It's going to act like a catalyst, so it's going to speed up the process. Just cover all the circuits. Now you're going to be adding more muriatic acid than your hydrogen peroxide. So when this happens, you're going to start getting chemical reactions. So you want to actually have a respirator or do this outside. So uh, we'll get started. And uh, safety glasses. Just to be sure. See that? Yeah, don't breathe this shit in, guys. <laughs> the dog should be outside. It's smoky. Get up in here. So this is the chemical reaction that's happening right now. I got him do this quick and then move it outside. Bella, go. It's acid for sure. You don't want this shit on you. I swear, guys. Don't let this get on you, man. Get back. Bella, go. I can smell it. Don't breathe this shit in, man. It's toxic. Now you guys, look up here. Now you guys will notice uh, it start turning green. It's already happening. The chemical process is already starting to begin. That's actually the color of the circuits. <laughs> That's bad, bad. <laughs> It's toxic, bro. So the chemical process is already happening. So what you want to do is wait several hours up to a day. This video probably won't be out till tomorrow, but um, this will be part two. Um, no, no, plastic yeah, melting. it's starting to stink. The dog bubbling. should be outside. Yeah, it's going to bubble. It's a chemical reaction happening right now. It's not going to explode. It's not going to ignite. So you guys don't have to worry because the hydrogen peroxide actually is a water-based soluble. So it's actually not going to ignite. The chemical reaction that's already in it is causing it to bubble and uh, cause smoke. So basically you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So make sure you guys are in a well ventilated area. I'm going to put a plate on this. Um, I'm going to put it away. And when the gold product starts to happen, come over here, man, I get stinking. I'm um, <laughs> going to put a plate on it. We're going to go to a well ventilated area in a couple hours. I'll keep checking on it, but I will see you guys then. Okay. Oh.